Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Matthews Gym Marbella. We're at the Ingle Gym here today for the unbreakable workout ahead of Kelbrook versus Jojo Dan this Saturday night. With me, one of my favourite little fighters. That's right, that's right. Lee, Lee Noble. Lee Noble. How are you, Lee? Oh, all right, I'm from Barnsley, forgot to mention. Ba Barnsley's, Barnsley's finest. <laughs> <laughs> Barnsley's <laughs> finest. Barnsley. Lee, first of all, can you g give me an update on your health situation, um, please? Yeah, basically last week I got put into remission. Um, I went to see my, my specialist at Allenshire Hospital and he, and he gave me good news that everything's working. Our chemotherapy I've been having has been working. So I'm, uh, I'm looking good. It's all like my sister. I've got, I've got to finish the chemotherapy I'm having, the course, obviously, to stop the chance, lower the chances of the leukemia coming back. So, and I've got a lot of help off Dom and certain people, Greg with my diet and things and I feel good man. I see people who, who are the same age as me every day at hospital and doctors they're like off record comparing me like I can't believe how well you're doing. Do you know? Their hair's all dropping out and I still got my big eyebrows. <laughs> and um, they're like, wow, you're still going at gym, you're still training and after all this chemotherapy you've had and I'm like, yeah, I, I still train and I'm I want to fight again to be honest, I really do and it's just that it's a bit motivation for me just to come down here and see things like this and it makes me want to work hard and I'm doing things right, no, no drinking, no going out with my mates, no late nights, just, just you know, I'm focusing on getting back in the ring. Just to obviously backtrack a little while for, for people that don't know, yeah. you were very unfortunately diagnosed with leukaemia, yeah, yeah, yeah. how many months ago was it now Lee? Um, October 30th, I can't remember it was the day before Halloween. And my mum and dad, they come bringing out fucking stupid masks and whoo, trying to cheer me up. I'm like, listen, I'm like, mood for I'm like, mood. Yeah, 30th of October. So about five, between I five and six months two ago. weeks prior to that, yeah. before they diagnosed me in Barnsley, but they were saying, oh, you've got arthritis. I was like, I ain't arthritis in my shoulder. I'm only 27 year old and anyway, I got a second opinion and they, they took me through to not hurt it by Lallamshire. And yeah, they told me I got leukemia. Some people can never met you or break you. And as soon as they told me, well, I, all my family was sat in the room crying and I was like, listen, I'm going to be fine, I'm going to be all right. Don't worry about me. I've been through things like, not on that sort of level, but I've been a fighter all my life, haven't I? So. You've obviously had the support of your family, your friends, friends and, and, and yeah, the gym and the whole of the boxing yeah. world as well, which must have contributed a little bit to you getting through it. Mm. Been brilliant, mate. Like, that, um, Tris Dixon at Boxing News, little things like just sending me a Boxing News every week for free and like loads of it. Tony Bell used to gloves, ringing me, talking all the time, people just asking how I am, just little things. Kel always checking up, lads at gym always checking up on me. Little things like that, you're, you, 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 it means a lot. I know it's only a phone call, but it does actually mean a lot, do you know what I mean? Just a little message. You know, how are you? What, how's things going? Do you know what I mean? And it, it, boosts, your, it boosts your morale, you wanna, you know what I mean? It's good. Government. I've had support, it's been fantastic. And last week we did a little fundraiser where Johnny came for leukemia research. We raised just, just shot a 10,000 10, pound for, for, um, for leukemia research and Alam Hospital. Well, that's good. Something good's come out of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But um, moving, like, obviously moving forward yeah. now with, with your health, what, yeah. what, what's the progression stage? You know, you're, you're out of remission now. Well, I've got, I've still got this pipe in my chest. That's that's the thing. I am training slightly like, on my fitness, and I'm ticking over. But when that comes out, then I'm going to start taking things a bit more seriously. Mm. Doctors and that, I've had my bloods checked, and my bloods are coming back up. So my platelets are starting to get better, which makes your blood clot. Like, I, like you can see, my hand it's bruised. So I did six light rounds on bank the other day, and my hand was a right mess. It was like I couldn't even tell. I got it was like one big knuckle. So, give it another, I don't know, three months and I'll, I'll start coming back down here again, like five five days a week and then... How long was the remission period? Uh, it's six months. Yeah. And then it goes into three every three months check so Have you come out of the six month I've period? Got the six month, I've got, I've got um, chemo for the next 18 months. Yeah. That's what they've told me at hospital. This can change, obviously, with my progression, but they said 18 months. Like every three months, I yeah. have to uh, intrathecal an injection in my back to stop it coming back, and tablets every day. 
So yeah. So long. It's honestly, do you know, I could be, I could be like a leukemia specialist now. I'm out of stuff. I, do you know, reading every day and thinking, just talking to people about what they've gone through and what tablets they take and medication and stuff. You just think, wow. When, I couldn't even spell leukemia, mate, when they told me. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? I can't even spell it. Well, crazy. Well, li listen, like I said, you've, you, you've yeah. gone through a traumatic period and, you, yeah. you know, you seem to be trying to I'm get yourself better. through getting it better. and you're getting better. So, you know, let's just hope it is a positive road for you now. Yeah, it is. It's, gonna, it's good, trust me. So it's, um, it's a good story, definitely. Because, like I said, there's a footballer who I've become really close friends with, you know, Stylian Petrov. Yes. And he had exactly the, the same player, one, yeah. the ALL, and um, he's been helping me as well. So, but. Like, We've got numbers and stuff, and we talk, and things things are looking. You can't, I can't believe how well I'm doing, mate. It's honestly, it's only like what is it, six months, is it, since since I got diagnosed with it? Mm. And it, I got told, I got told I'd be in hospital for six months, and I'm back down at gym training, and do you know what I mean? <laughs> causing causing hassle <asshole> everywhere. <laughs> good, to yeah. good to see. Yeah, yeah, mate. Um, Just keep smiling. Keep smiling and positive <laughs> thoughts, yeah. and you'll get through it. Yeah. You will get through it. Yeah. Um, I know you want oh, to where's look man <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about Prince Patel <laughs> yeah oh, please what, what did you think oh, he's, I don't know without swearing it just seems like a bad bad person I don't know if this is a, a front just to try and gain a bit of attention or what it's, it's not it's not right way of doing it is it it's well, not it's not the correct way about uh, getting attention you do make it, asking girls to suck your dick and oh, it's not good is it <laughs> well, I've done some pretty wacky interviews with yeah, you. Yeah, I've, I've done some funny interviews, but I've done it intentionally to, yeah. try, and, to try and cause a stir and wind, wind people up, like yeah. Tyan, for instance. But I, I just, that's a couple of times I've, seen, I've met the fella and I've seen him and I just think, ah, just keep him at arm's length. It's fine. Well, listen, like I said, it's, it's, it's a bit of exposure for him, and yeah, ma maybe he'll yeah. take it on board and maybe change, him, or maybe he won't. We'll, maybe have, to wait. we'll have to wait and see. Mm. We shall see. But um, listen, more importantly, like best of luck with, right. like I said, your. Yeah, I'm just going to go and uh, see Eddie now and get my Rolex. Mm. <laughs> go, and, go and take the one off his wrist. <laughs> Fast car, give me that, give me that, give me that watch. <laughs> Lee Noble, thank, thank you very, you very much, much for giving mate. us your time Thank to you. IFL TV, alright? Yep, man. No problem. God bless.